so I totally forgot to record my hair. That I want to bleach some of this area as well so like I parted the best I could and of course that darker shade is now kind of mixed with the bleached area so we're gonna do one-to-one -one ratio of developer and bleach mix the two and then apply it right off the bat and I'm gonna let it sit I'm gonna let it cook for like 40 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it out and I'm gonna see if it's a desired blonde shade enough so that I can play some like oh my gosh I keep dropping I'm sorry <laughs> and then I'm gonna apply like a pastel semi-permanent pink or something on top of that um, because I want that to kind of be like a standout um, I don't know feature of my hair and look at my nails aren't they so cute I did them today and I put little, little flowers on them adorable so anyway that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, I have an hour and 15 minutes between processing and washing my hair. So pray for me. I hope this works out. So I'm going to mix. This is 20 volume that came in the package. And I'm going to mix one to one ratio with the lightning powder here. And then I'm going to use this like little cup that I have. Um, and I'm going to use the same amount for each the developer and the lightning powder and I think I'm gonna fill it up to like that first rectangle right there the lowest amount and mix it up and then go straight to applying I have this like bleach cream here but I don't necessarily know what this is I might throw a little bit of this in there too like I have no idea so anyway let's do this okay so we're gonna do one part I'm just gonna fill it all the way up to B I think that's enough to one part of the lightning powder and we're gonna give that a mix Don't forget to wear gloves and put those on first. Honestly, just basically do everything that I do in reverse. <laughs> so I washed out the bleach and color let's see I'm gonna blow dry it quickly I have I have 20 minutes I don't know still looks like orangey it was looking blonde there for a moment but then I slapped on that fuchsia color so it's looking looking orange it's looking like a coral peachy it's not the vibe I have to fix this yeah but I have to fix this because I want it to be I want it to be blonde I want it to be blonde not copper not orange yeah so I bleached my brows for the first time and definitely burned my skin a little bit up here but I think that they turned out great and I re-bleached the front part of my hair left it on for almost an hour 20 volume developer mixed with lightning powder um, equal parts and then I washed my hair 
I dried it and now I'm going to color my brows and uh, the front of my head this color I just want it to be honestly lighter than the rest of my head um, I would love like a platinum blonde mixed with my plum kind of thing but that would require me rebleaching my hair and uh, I would probably get a professional to jump in at that point because I don't necessarily want to damage my hair you know but anyway I'm gonna do this and then take another shower wash my hair and dry it and I will show you the results so yeah we're just gonna go in and run this color through and let it sit for 30 minutes I'm gonna do the middle section first and I like to flip my hair upward and that way I kind of stroke it on this part as well and then this is gonna turn my skin pink which I can't really shy away from but it does wash off most of the time so yeah I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do my brows last after I get all of this covered up I am getting my camera so dirty but as you can see I covered all of those pieces and the reason why I didn't go all the way like I didn't bleach all the way to the root is a I already have a sensitive scalp so I didn't want to interfere and make it worse than it already is and just to keep my hair a little bit more healthier near that end and also I like the appearance of like a shadow root or like I don't know balayage kind of effect so that's why I didn't bleach all the way to the top of my root I have color all over my camera this is honestly one of the messiest processes of beauty <laughs> it's not fun um, but hopefully the result will be worth it I think it will oh god okay so I have the color on my brows and I tried to clean up around the face I'm gonna leave this on for like another five to ten minutes and wash everything out okay so it's been five more minutes I'm going to wipe off my brows just with a very soft cotton pad and with some cold water I'm gonna just rub that dye out first before I hop in the shower and wash my hair Okay, so I took a shower and I applied this all over my face just because I am feeling irritation and um, it's quite sen sensitive right now and red. So this is a great product if you want to just calm down the skin. It is by Origins, the Dr. Andrew Well uh, Mega Mushroom line and it's the Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. So I put this on my face, hopefully it's going to help, um, especially just like the brow area. Um, definitely tender here in this area and then I'm probably gonna just put on some castor oil mixed with some um, Waleda nourishing cream mix those two things up it's gonna be really thick but it's just gonna help uh, kind of restart the skin barrier since it's been stripped a bit and um, I think the hair turned out I am still getting used to my eyebrows I cannot believe <laughs> how pink um they are so i might have these brows for like a week and then go back to like the guava shade um and dye my brows i don't i just don't know how i'm gonna how i'm gonna cater to these uh, especially when i don't do my makeup all that often and i feel like these light brows might wash out the face but anyway i'm gonna blow dry my hair i'm definitely gonna put some leave-in conditioner and 
yeah, let's see how it looks. I'm excited. So the leave-in conditioners that I love um, are these two. It's the BioSilk Silk Therapy 17 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. I love that it has a spray nozzle on it and it actually doesn't get all clumpy in that nozzle either. It distributes the product evenly and just beautifully on the hair and it does a great job. It doesn't leave my hair greasy. It feels very hydrated and um, nourished. And then this is the Revlon Unique One Lotus Flower All-in-One Hair Treatment with 10 benefits. I love using these two um, when I'm feeling like my hair is super thirsty or a bit more processed than usual or damaged. Um, these two combined are great and same thing the nozzle um, is great on this it doesn't get clumpy it distributes evenly I'm loving the sense of these two products and just the overall effect of them I think they're great so I'm gonna put both of these in my hair and um, hopefully that'll help with just like how much I've put it through today in fact the entire week it's been through a lot This is a great brush, it's by Wet, and I'm just gonna brush it through the ends first, very, very gently, especially these front pieces. So I just wanted to turn on the light and show you um, how the hair looks wet. It's looking promising. Okay, so um, it is like nine o'clock and I'm headed to the store to get some hair dye because these brows I don't think suit me the best. I'm glad that I tried like the whole bleached brow because I was always curious about it. I just think that my brows need to be darker. So I have to fix them because as much as I thought it was a cool moment, I did my makeup to see how it looked like with makeup and I wore like my black frames and it looked cool. It looks cute, but I don't do my makeup all the time. So I just think that it washes me out. So I have to fix them, but I love my hair. I love how my hair turned out, so that's good. So we're gonna go to the store right now and get some hair dye and I have to pick up some diapers before they close. So yeah, fun times, this, this hair journey of mine. Now that I'm looking in the viewfinder, Remember when I was like, I like how my frames look? It's probably because they cover the brows, you know? That's probably why I like the look of them. I'm going to show you what my hair looks like probably tomorrow in daylight so you have a good idea. Um, but we're going to fix these brows. I'm going to show you what hair dyes I got. And you know what I was thinking? At the end of this journey, I'm gonna calculate how much money I spent on hair dye and products to create my hair look, hairstyle, hair color. <laughs> so, sometimes when we do it ourselves at home, the goal is to save money, right? But sometimes you end up spending a lot of time and a lot of money doing it at home. So, you know, I think it depends on the circumstance and like the situation, but I think, I think I'm still under $50 so far. Uh, hopefully these brows turn out though, because I'm really just sick and tired of doing my hair all week. So these are the two hair dyes I got. It was two for 12. So it ended up being $6 a box. I'm obviously not going to use all of the hair dye on my brows, um, but I decided to do this Burgundy Auburn by Garnier. It's the Belle color line, and then I also got brownish black. Uh, so I'm going to, the goal is to lean into this first, let that sit on the brow, and then I'm going to add, add this to them probably like 10, 15 minutes after. Um, and then hopefully we get the desired color. But 
I've never done this before, so wish me luck. I currently have brow gel, so I'm just gonna use a cotton pad with some water and wipe that off. Because I don't want any product on the brow to disrupt the coloring process, so I'm just gonna take all of that stuff off. Okay, let's go in and do this. When I tell you my skin is burning, oh my goodness. What am I doing right now? Guys, I really hope this works. Like, please, please, please. I might just leave this color on and maybe do the black another day because, oh my goodness, she's a stinging. Okay, it's been five minutes and the sting has gone away, thank goodness. I think I'm going to leave them on for like 10, 15. Hope this works. I think that the dye is dyeing my skin and this is gonna be a bit to take off okay I'm gonna wipe this stuff off now it's been 15 long minutes I think they're darker okay let's wipe this off please work Yes. Me to do a little I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. I put shampoo in my brows, and I'm scrubbing it with this bully because the part that stained my skin, I'm hoping the shampoo helps get it off. Yeah, no. It didn't really do much. I'm gonna take some of my Mega Mushroom um, soothing treatment lotion that I was talking to you guys about and put that over my brows again. As you can see, they're raw. Raw, raw, raw. But I'm really happy with how they turned out. I just feel like myself again. And I can't believe that it worked. <laughs> this is day three of my hair since last dyeing it. And as you can tell, the style, the curls have kind of deflated. The volume has deflated. And I am in need of a wash. If you look closely at my roots, things are looking a little oily uh, but I wanted to just jump on here and show you how the hair turned out and how the brows turned out I'm really happy with it I was a little bit hesitant after I dyed my brows that burgundy shade because when I had wiped it off that night and even the day after they looked like a black plum and that was a little worrisome but I gave it a couple more days and this shade is much more suitable for my liking and my skin tone and I I'm really happy with it I think the placement of the pink is really cute and everything is even and I think looks really pretty alongside the um, the majority of the rest of the hair so I'm happy with how everything turned out and still I have spent between 40 to 45 dollars on all the color and the bleach and I think that's really good considering something like this would probably cost me hundreds of dollars if I were to go to the salon, which I wish I could afford that and maybe one day I will, but right now I'm enjoying experimenting at home at a level that I'm comfortable with. Um, so anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you're well. If you are new here, please subscribe and let me know down in the comments what your name is and where you're from and I will see you in the next video.